Hello, everyone. I'm Rebecca Luce Kapler, author of The Negation of Chronology, Imagining Geraldine Moody. On this beautiful spring day, I'm here to tell you how I came to write this book of poetry. For many years, I've been fascinated with photography, that magic of the camera to frame your vision in a particular way. A photograph can be like a poem through a close investigation of life, revealing a creator's vision. Well, this fascination took me to the Alberta Provincial Archives a few years ago, where I was researching photography from the turn of the 20th century. One of the archivists asked me if I'd ever heard of Geraldine Moody. No, I said, I only know Susanna Moody, who wrote Roughing It in the Bush. Well, he told me, Geraldine was Susanna's granddaughter and one of the first women in Western Canada to own a photography studio. That was it. I needed to find out more about this woman I'd never heard of. Working with bits and pieces, fragments that had been collected over time, and a curated book of her photographs, I imagined the woman behind the lens. It's important to know that Geraldine actually owned three photography studios, raised six children, and followed her husband JD to eight different Northwest Mounted Police postings from the prairies to Northern Canada. And from time to time, she escaped to Lakefield, Ontario, which was her home for, which was home for her. The one constant in this peripatetic life was her art. I'd like to read you one of the poems from the collection. Exit Lines, Lethbridge, Summer 1889. The sun bright hot, the whisk of the strop, sharp steel whispers along skin, and then the wind starts again. The lull short-lived, grains of dust against glass, like the sting of marriage. I need to leave, head east, find my air, not skitter along the sharp edge of silence beneath the insistence of relentless wind. I hope you'll join us June 11th at five o'clock Eastern to learn more about this fascinating Canadian woman and perhaps what she was exiting. We'll see you then.